Hello everyone, my name is Marc Antoine, I'm an integration coach here at Robotic. So today what we're going to do is uh, we wanted to present you the Robotic palletizing solution. So we want to go through the, the programming from start to finish and also uh, tell you what is provided within the solution. So first we have the, the seventh axis, then uh, you're going to have its PLC, so everything is provided. Then we're going to have the base of the solution, so that includes the pallet sensor that are embedded into the base. And uh, finally, we're going to have the box present sensor. So this is also provided within the solution. You just have to mount it in the, on the in-feed conveyor. And then uh, the only thing that is not provided by Robotic is the, the universal robot. So we're compatible with the UR10 and the UR16. And that will be provided by the same distributor that you're working with. So the first thing we want to do is to add the palletizer node as you can see. So there will be four different folder that is going to appear automatically, so five actually. Uh, so the first one is the add before pallet. So if you need to put some instruction uh, before starting a pallet, that's where you're going to do that. The grip folder here, so that's where you're going to put the vacuum gripper node. Release folder, so same thing, we're going to put the vacuum release node. Then add between layers, so this is the folder where uh, if, for example, you have an internal layer sheet, so that's where you're going to put those instructions in there. So robot movement, linear axis movement. So that's where it's going to go. And then we have the add after pallet. So again, if you need to have some instruction once a pallet is completed, uh, that's where you're going to do that. Uh, maybe one thing to mention, if you would have two different pallets with two different uh, box dimension or two different product, you can do that by adding an, another palletizer node. So basically, you will have the two different palletizers and all for the two different products, the two different sides of the palletizer. And then with the uh, different logic uh, possibility, if sequence or stuff like this, you can manage on which side you want to palletize, so which product you want to palletize. So now we want to go into the palletizer node. So we press start in here. So we've got these four menus that we need to enter. So the first one is the box. So as you can see here, we have to enter the box dimension. So if I look at the box dimension in here, so it's written on the box, so 600, 620, 320, 230. Then we're gonna have the payload. I know it's three kilograms. Uh, in this menu as well, we're gonna, we have the chance to set the label orientation. So if we want it or not, if you want the label to be facing outside of the pallet, so we have the checks box in here. And as you can see, there is a visual on both sides. So you can see it on the box. And also you have the arrows where you can uh, manage the side that you want it. So by clicking in, clicking in here, you can orient uh, the label orientation depending of the, of the robot. So one thing to mention, so the side A has to be aligned with the wrist connector. So in this example, my wrist connector is facing the wall. The label is on the other side, so that's where I want to put the label facing uh, on the other side of the side A. Uh, from there, the last thing we need to do is the grip position. So that's the only waypoint that we're going to have to do for the full solution. So all the trajectory will be done automatically, and that's the only waypoint, so it's the grip position. So we, what we want to do is to center the tool on top of the box. And how to do that is really to use a, a measuring tape and measure on each side, making sure that we are perfectly centered. So. We press OK, and then the first menu is completed. So if we go back to the to the main page, so we have the four menus. Second one is the pallet, so we want to edit it. Uh, so I know the dimension of this one, so we've got 1,000 on this side, we've got 1,280 on this side, and then 116 for the height. And that's where we can select which side we want to palletize. So for this palletizing node, I'm going to palletize on the right side. So now for the third menu, so the pattern, so that's where the, the, the magic happened. 
So we've got the first pattern A, and again, everything is done via the teach pendant. Everything is visual, so we can add our delete boxes and then place them uh, according to the pattern that you want. So uh, just one thing that I wanted to mention, so we can see the arrows in here. So that's the label, basically. If you want them facing out, you want to orient the boxes accordingly. So I'm gonna add the boxes. Again, label will be facing out. First pattern is completed. Let's go to the second pattern. And again, I want the label facing outside and then I can add the boxes accordingly. So our two patterns are completed. Last thing we want to do in this menu is the number of layers. So for this example, we can put four. And then we have the layer sequence. So if you want to alternate those layers, so for this one, I have pattern A and pattern B. So we want to alternate those to have a good structure. And then the third menu is completed. So for the fourth menu, so the settings, so that's where we can control uh, and manage the speed and acceleration with and without the box. So for this example, since we know the configuration and the setup, we can go a little bit faster. So we can go, let's say, 3000 everywhere. Then we have the box presence input. So with the provided sensor that goes uh, in the in-feed conveyor, uh, it's gonna be connected into the robot and that's where you can select the input chosen, input connected. Then we have the uh, metric R and parallel. So depending on uh, uh, what you want, you can choose uh, which units that you want to use. And then the last thing I wanted to mention is the, that checkbox in here. So the allow gripper to pick to the box at 90 degrees. Uh, for this example, we want to remove that checkbox just because uh, I want to lock the picking orientation. If we pick it at 90 degrees, the vacuum will be outside of the box. So that's why we want to uncheck that box. So before we press start, so I'm going to remove the extra palletizer node. And then we're ready to start. Uh, I'm going to get out of the cell, press the safety uh, button and then we're going to be able to, to play it. So I press play. We have the visual of the palette in here, so depending of where you want to start. So if you already have some boxes on the palette or if you want to modify something while, while it's running, so you can manage that. But for this example, we want to start from an empty palette. We press OK. 